Hey y'all, come on in. This is Tuesday evening's dinner. I'm going to make some um, nice, thick, juicy burgers. This is, um, I've already put my ingredients in. This is a pound of ground um, turkey and a pound of ground, um, mm, did I forget the name of the meat? Well, I'll think of it in a minute. It's a ground beef, but it has some uh, taco seasoning in it. So it's going to be a combo, um, a combination rather. That's bread. Okay, a combination of the uh, ground turkey and um, the ground uh, taco flavored uh, ground beef in here. So we're going to have, it's going to be a little bit different flavor. I got one egg in there, fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs, and my usual uh, teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a half a teaspoon of um, black pepper. So what I'm going to do is get my hands, I got my gloves on this time, because this this is, a, uh, I got the egg in there. So I'm just going to get them all squished in. This is two pounds of meat, so I'm going to make quarter pound size burgers out of uh, this mixture. And Kareem and I are going to have us a nice burger. I'll probably do them some corn, you know, something like this. You do corn, fruit fries, baked beans, or whatever. And I think I'm going to do some corn with this. Um, Kareem loves corn. I just want me a nice, thick, juicy burger with a big old slice of uh, onion on top. Maybe saute a little, a few onions, but definitely going to have me a some raw onion on top of there so let's make sure you get that uh, meat mixed in really really good and we're going to have us some nice juicy burgers we're still cooking light um, not a whole lot these days uh, I'm going to have I got some uh, that baby uh, arugula and spinach I'll probably have on my burger because I always like when I eat a meat. I always try to make sure I eat some uh, a reasonable amount of veggies to go with it, uh, just to balance it out pretty good. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to be putting in in my um, mixture there is oh here it is right here. I'm going to put me some Smart Start some butter inside of there. And you say why butter? Just because I want to. No, no, any any reason other than that? Because you know I'm always trying to um, make something a little bit different. So I'm gonna put about a um, just put a couple tablespoons of of that melted. There it is. That good old melted up uh, smart star. Just give it a little bit of a buttery flavor is all I'm doing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just. Put it in. I got me a little piece of that meat uh, in the pan. I always like to get my meat going. Get me a little sample piece in there. We got that little bit of butter in there. Just to give it a little bit of different flavor, y'all. Um, of course, you know, the weather is still a major factor. Hurricane Ida going through... Um, New Orleans, uh, New Orleans in, in the Louisiana area. Uh, of course, our sisters and brothers there are still recouping, and there's another storm out there brewing in the ocean right on top of Ida. So they are still going through. That's why we have to continue to pray without ceasing now. We, you know, I can't say it enough. We have to pray, pray, pray um, that all of the individuals that are still out there in harm's way will fare okay at the end of this storm. So we just still, we yet praying, as my grandma used to say, we yet praying. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, burger tastes pretty good. So what we're going to do, we get it all mixed up really, really good here. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing my quarter pound burger. I want to make them too big. I want to, I should get, let's see, at a quarter pound, I should get eight out of there, right? So let's, let's get them right. Let's, let's get this thing right. Um, I'm using olive oil. Now, of course, I'm using some little pan spray. 
so that the burgers will not stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'll probably make that one too big, but that's okay. I'm supposed to be able to get eight out of here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Okay. Am I gonna get eight, y'all? I hope so. Two pounds of, of uh, ground meat. Medium high heat, y'all. Not real high. Just a medium high heat is all we need. Medium, medium high. And I think I'm gonna get them all in the pan. Yep. Two, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get eight of them out of here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So we got eight, and I'm and I'm um, sure we're gonna say these a quarter pound of burgers. Nice big thick burgers. Got one more. Let we'll these cook down. I'll show you. Got seven in. I'm gonna have to let these cook a little bit for a few minutes. And I will be able in a few minutes I'll be able to get my eighth burger in the pan. Okay. I'm gonna flatten them out a little bit. It doesn't matter if these are sort of cried up on each other. Okay. Got to flatten them out somewhat. It's sort of some one or two of them. I got them way too thick. Okay. I think this is good like this. This is sort of medium high heat. Let those babies cook and they're going to be good in between a bun with some um, onion and some lettuce and tomato. But if you get all those um, to mix the turkey meat with a seasoned either the taco meat or you can get the ground up um, well, it's, ground, it's, it's like it's ground beef. But then the store puts in that different little seasoning in there. And it's quite good. And we're going to keep, we're going to let these cook slowly so that um, they'll stay nice and juicy for me. And of course, like I said, we're going to serve them on a bun. So I'm going to flatten them out just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. But so every once in a while, a nice thick burger, especially when it's real tasty, is really, really good, y'all. Okay. So we're going to have to let these cook for about, I'm going to say about 12 minutes on each side, and then they should be good and done inside. We don't want no raw meat, y'all. Don't want no raw meat. So, again, y'all, this weather, uh, that, that last storm that went through here, that Ida, it tore up some stuff in Louisiana, and they are still... And everybody, you know, are uh, in that line of fire, so to speak. They're still going through the cleanup, so we still need to be praying as much as we can um, for everybody in that region. And for also, because of the fact this new storm is going through there and beginning to uh, do some additional things in that area. And we just start praying right now in the name of Jesus that um, the extra storm uh, that's raging through there won't wreak too much more havoc. But we know weather is uh, as it does. I mean, we, we're in that season where we get these different kind of um, weather systems that go through and tear up and wreak havoc. And unfortunately, those uh, storms go through basically the same areas every time. So, sisters, brothers in New Orleans, in that area, in that entire region, we are praying for you all. 
I know some uh, weather went up through New Jersey, New York, we're praying for you all as well, that uh, it will be well, that it is well, it is well with you all, and that uh, you can feel the love of the Lord around you. I know it's hard, and it's difficult, and also as we are going through, you know, you imagine all this weather, and we're going through this uh, COVID situation, this variant, all of those things, um, it's a very, we're living in very, very critical, crucial, difficult times. And those, of course, as I said over and over and over and over again, these are times for prayer that uh, God will spare us and give us the strength to go through what we have to go through. I mean, we're here on this earth and we have to go through some of these things in order to live day by day. So, I just implore you, as I have before, to continue to pray without ceasing, to uh, love on one another, to uh, just do something kind for each other. Whatever we can do to be a blessing is a blessing. So I'm just going to turn these over, and I'll probably turn them over one more time before they finish cooking, because um, <clears throat> I think they've been cooking now about eight minutes, so... We'll turn them over there. Oh, they smell so wonderful. I can smell a little bit of, I put that Worcestershire sauce. And you know, Worcestershire sauce has a little twang to it. And I can smell that little twang and it smells wonderful, y'all. So, we'll turn these on over here. Okay, we're just going to turn the heat down a little bit more. Because we got the egg in there, we got the bread in there. Got that Worcestershire, so they are browning up nicely. So we're going to turn that heat to low and let them continue to cook. They've been cooking now about nine minutes, so we're going to let them continue to cook. And I'm going to go do a little cleanup, and I shall return. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm looking at the news. This uh, new hurricane, of course, is Hurricane Nicholas, and it's a Category 1. And uh, as you know, hurricanes, they can wreak havoc and dump a lot of water so that was in the Houston area which is coming on up approaching uh, the New Orleans area and of course they're getting some of that weather system uh, as it's coming through so like I said we are definitely uh, praying we're looking at the uh, I've looked at some of the damage and we just pray and ask God to uh, help our sisters and brothers through yet another storm I tell you what this is the season is the season for these storms and we just have to remain vigilant and prayerful in um, asking God to help us through this. So help us to help our sisters and brothers through these storms. Okay, so back over here to these burgers. I'm uh, cooking them. They're about halfway there, y'all. And what I've done is just slice some raw onion on top of it and put some of that juice out of the pan on there. I'm going to flip them one more time before I declare them done. So... I'm going to let them cook there for a little while longer because I want to make sure they get done all the way through the middle before we attempt to eat them. That's going to be some good eating now. All I want is a burger with some raw onion. I'm going to put some raw onion because I'm going to let these onions get done. And some mayo and some lettuce and a slice of tomato. I'm going to be ready for the world in these burgers. And I think Kareem wants corn. But I, oh, I know I did say that I wanted some of my arugula and spinach as a veggie. I might just put it right on the burger, y'all. See y'all hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. You can see I'm just going ahead on that kind of turn these to get them on the onion side so that these onions can saute and cook through that uh, broth a little bit. Mmm. This one so good. It's going to be so yummy, y'all. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> We're just cooking them slowly because I, I want them to stay nice and juicy. So there they are on the onion side. Now we're going to let them cook. Let, let those onions saute in there. And we're going to serve them right up on those buns at the appropriate time. Okay, I got a little corn going on. This is some whole kernel, a whole can of whole kernel, <clears throat> 15 ounce can. And then some of the cream style together. 
a little butter, a little brown sugar, black pepper. I'm going to pop it in the microwave for about 10 minutes, and it's going to be ready to roll, y'all. So hang on. The burgers are done. Those onions are under there. They're ready to go, y'all. So we're going to have this meal on the underway in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, the burgers are done. Nice, thick, juicy, and oniony. And, of course, we got that good old sweet uh, whole kernel corn. We're going to throw some lettuce off on it, ketchup, mayo, and we're just going to just simply burgers tonight, y'all. Put them on a bun, and we're just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for tuning in. And remember to continue to pray for our sisters and brothers who are still fighting these storms. Ida and... Um, well, I just forgot the name of the other storm that's out there. But y'all know you've been listening to the news and we've been uh, hearing how it's raging out there and how it is just creating situations, especially for New, or for New Orleans, Louisiana area. They're just getting over, um, or not getting over, just trying to get over Hurricane Ida. And now we got a new storm system set in. So, Continue to pray without season for our sisters and brothers that they will come through this storm. Also, the pandemic is still raging. Pray for the people that are still trying to get vaccinated, those that are in the hospital, the loved ones, those that have passed on. Just pray, pray, pray without ceasing that we all come through it together. So, guys, look, this is real simple, direct and to the point, but I just want to come on, share this with you. These good old burgers here, they are epic. They're nice thick and juicy and uh, we're going to enjoy them so until I decide to cook something again y'all keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down do something kind for someone go ahead and resolve those unresolved issues so that your life will be better and that you can serve God more so until I decide to cook again love you guys thank you for your comments compliments and encouragement to Lou.